Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. Yes, today we're back in X-Plane 11. Yeah, very beautiful flight simulator, and we're today on board a very special plane, and that is not any plane, but a DC-10. Yes, uh, good old stuff, right? Now this is a very old school plane, as you can see, this is a very ugly model here for the flight simulator as well. I mean, Jesus Christ. I think this was like $20 from the xplane.org store, but... <laughs> yeah, you can check out the cabin as well. Wow, isn't that a beautiful DC-10? <laughs> yeah, oh, this is totally not what the DC-10 looked like. Yeah, this is a very interesting plane from a, you know, time and age that we don't really remember. Because, you know, either we were not actually alive to... Never mind, what am I saying? And, well, what can I say? DC-10 definitely is a legendary plane. It's still flying around, mostly, though, as a cargo plane, which is actually kind of good, because this is, after all, an old plane that should be flying around as a passenger version. But let's just go ahead and actually take off this plane, and, um, <laughs> especially after the takeoff follows, obviously, the landing, and, um, and that is the interesting part of this airplane, exactly. Because this airplane is known for being able to, you know, not really fly super easily, but we're, we're gonna find that out in a second. All right, okay, 80 knots, 100 knots. I think we're actually able to take off this plane out of here, right? Oh, please. Oh, gee. Oh, that, oh, wow, that has been a major tail strike. Yeah, we'll come back to professionally flying with Swiss as one. one. <clears throat> All right, now, yes, the DC-10 is actually a pretty hard plane to fly. Actually, both when it comes to all of the systems that it has. I mean, obviously, you know, back then you needed, you know, at least three people uh, that were flying the plane at the same time, pretty much. Um, Because, you know, this is... After all, plane pretty old, and it needed a lot of pilots. But also, just the manual flying part was pretty hard about this plane. Um, it's very hard to actually land this plane smoothly, or in other words, there. You know, it's very common to have hard landings in the DC-10. To put it this way, all right. Okay, then let's maybe challenge ourselves and now try to get this plane landed smoothly down at the airport that we departed from, Le Mole Airport. Let's check it out. Okay, I think we're looking good on this landing, right? <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, now let's maybe try to make this actually a smooth landing right there. I don't know if this is actually, again, a hard part about the DC-10. All right, let's try this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. All right. Ugh, yeah! 700 feet per minute. Damn, that was uh, more of a, a crash right there. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's actually the model here in this flight simulator that just will not come down. You cannot land this plane here on this small runway. Okay, then. Maybe we'll need a little bit of a, you know, longer runway then. Let's maybe go to Nice Airport, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're now approaching Nice Airport. Let's hope to make this landing nice uh, or something. Oh, damn. There's some weird frames per second bug going on right now. Jesus Christ. See, it, again, it is a little hard to fly this plane properly. Right? Okay, let's find out. See, this is really not super easy on the controls. By the way, have I already mentioned how bad this flight model actually looks and, and works as well? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm just gonna mention the price again. $20 as well. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, now let's come in for a good landing right there. I, I need a smooth one, at least one. Eh, this is a very interesting plane. I mean, of course, this is no Airbus that's very easy to fly. So let's just find out how this is gonna do. Ooh. Oh, that was not... God damn it. Dan, this is, like, genuinely harder to fly than I thought it would. This plane is, like, impossible to fly. What the hell is wrong with this one? What is... <laughs> yeah. All right. That's been a very safe landing right there, but... <laughs> but a hard one. Okay, then. Let's maybe try this again. Okay, come on. We can try this. Oh, my goodness. All right. Landing in the ocean right there. That's <laughs> not gone very well. Uh, don't die. Oh, my goodness. See, this plane is, like, especially in the flight simulator, so impossible to control. I don't know if it's like that in real life. I don't hope so, at least. All right, let's try, <laughs> try this. This is just a pure chaos at this point. Okay, come on. Come on, DC-10. What can you do? This is genuinely impossible to fly this plane properly. Holy moly. All right, come on. Uh, 1,700 feet per minute. Wow, what a smooth landing right there. So you can already see, yeah, landings in the DC-10 are uh, a little harder. Jesus Christ. I mean, that actually also reflects to real life. What is this video here? McDonnell Douglas DC-10 hard landing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Very interesting landing indeed. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, come on, that was not actually too hard. That was alright, but it wasn't very smooth either, to, to be honest. American Airlines DC-10 Flight 405 emergency landing on road. Uh oh Alright, this was, of course, a very, very realistic landing of the DC-10 as well. Alitalia MD-11, very hard landing. Let's check it out, I guess. Alright, and ooh. 
Ooh, I think that's actually at Kaitak Airport. Yeah, that is crosswind in Kaitak. Oh, oh. I don't even want to imagine how hard this plane is to land at Kaitak. Okay. Maybe we, we can check out the MD-11, which was like the, the more advanced version of the DC-10. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck in this plane. All right. Now, we'll come aboard the MD-11, which as you can see, indeed, is a little longer than our DC-10 and a little bigger. And it has a more modern cockpit, even though the MD-11 is kind of dead as a passenger variant as well these days. But you know what? We can try getting this plane landed as well, which... I mean, I can already say this is not going to be super easy. I mean, come on. We can give it a try to actually get this plane landed smoothly. Oh, no. All right, MD-11. We can do this. Uh, This plane's already dying before we actually touch down. Okay, come on. I'm going to actually try my best to actually get this plane landed smoothly down there. Or somewhat of a butter landing. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is such a disappointing video, isn't it? All right. All right, coming down. Looking good. All right, and now a landing. Let's see how this is going to go, right? Mm, this is not going to go well. I'm going to say that already. Come on. All right, now a landing. Coming down nicely. Oh, not coming down nicely. Oh, that was not a good landing right there. What the hell, dude? MD-11. <laughs> Why is this plane so impossible to fly? Is it the third engine? Maybe it's the third engine. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. That was really not good. Lufthansa Cargo MD-11 hard landing at Manchester. What's up, great flyer? Okay, let's check it out. Come on. What do we got? Hmm. That was not a very comfortable landing there, indeed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe our little landing at La Mole Airport was a little worse than that. Jesus Christ. Why is this plane so impossible to butter? I mean, we can try this again here at Nice Airport. Let's try this one. All right, can we maybe get somewhat of a good landing score today? Jesus. All right, now full on the flaps. Let's get everything ready. Let's really calm down. Make this smooth. This is not gonna work, I know. What airline is that, though? Aviant. Okay. <laughs> Landing gear is coming down. Let's maybe actually maintain some sort of speed so that I have full control of when the plane is exactly touching down, right? And I'm trying to calm this down a little bit. Okay, we can do this. All right. Full concentration on this landing right there. This is going to go well. I can already tell. Okay, now. Oh, uh, we have our... <laughs> ah! All right, now. Second try. Come on. Come on. Smoothly. Smoothly. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Wait, what? That was actually so nice that it didn't recognize this one as a touchdown, right? All right, so we've finally done a butter landing. That's uh, very good. <laughs> yeah. What was that landing like, though? Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. And there's our touchdown. Here we go. That was actually really uh, a pretty smooth landing, considering this is an MD-11 after all. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby, Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley, Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kalamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.